Hey y'all, uh, a couple weeks ago I started a little series on how to take the standard notation and know where on the fretboard, at least in the first position of the fretboard, meaning open to third fret, that the little black dots lie on the fretboard. Um, Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric here, and you are looking at the Ibanez S series. This is the S470 DK, and this is a C serial number. So this was basically at the court factory this was made. Um, this is a 2003. There are some issues with the neck. Basically, just needs a fret leveling job. Take care of that, no problem. Everything else seems to be pretty good on it little bit of discoloration and staining from uh, just I guess normal use of this guitar. This guitar was used. This guitar was used heavily and uh, I give it a little bit of work. Now this guitar did come with some problems and one of the problems that I found upon taking it apart to start uh, cleaning it and putting new strings on was that this has the tremolo stabilizer by Ibanez on there which is there's a bar that goes across here, two springs that pull on here, and you can adjust uh, basically when the tension on it to stabilize the tremolo, uh, give it a little bit better of a tuning when you release the tremolo. As you can see, one side has a wall here, the other side doesn't, and when I took it apart, this area here was broken and one of the pieces of plastic was sitting inside the cavity of the guitar where this is mounted at. And also it's, you know, basically crumbling and falling apart. Problem with this was, is where am I going to get another one? And hunting down on eBay, no luck. I can get parts, but not this particular part. It's held down by two screws right here. You can remove this from the metal bracing. So I went on to Reverb and hunted down on Reverb and came across somebody who was selling the whole assembly. Now I'm not too sure what year this assembly is. I do know that it is, is off of the, um, the thumb wheel. And when I say thumb wheel, it has a wheel here that you turn instead of having an Allen screw like this one is. Now the parts are the same part between this one and this one that I need. The plates are basically the same type of a plate, exception of the top part here and the way it is mounted. But I'm not using this part here. All I want is this part here. I don't need the actual tremolo itself either, but tell you what. Having spare parts is a good thing. So I've got the locking nut with the screws that mount that. I got the stabilizer with the bar pin and everything else, the plastic and you know everything's here that I need. And I also got the tremolo, which the tremolo had the hinges on them. I pulled them off and I'll tell you why in a minute. But there is a difference between the two and I'm not too sure if this is uh, because of the year or maybe a different um different model of it i'm not too sure but where the whammy bar goes in this one is a little bit different than this one well a lot different than you can see uh in shape wise goes they're both pretty much the same in the same shape uh not really too much of a difference as far as how they look they're both the cosmo black and they both have some wearing on it in the chrome or plating on it that uh, I'm trying polishing that a little bit more. But again, spare parts is always great. So what was some of the problems that I had with this? Well, upon taking this apart, I noticed that somebody put some really thick washers on the mounts that uh, for your adjustment for action height on this thing. So when I took off the old bushings with the, or the hinge with the bearings on. Now these bearings are pressed in and they're really not pulling these things off. 
Uh, they're not so much pressed in here. You can get replacement bearings, though. That's kind of a good thing. Well, looking at this, how is this supposed to be assembled? Okay, well, you have the screw for the adjustment as far as your action height, up or down. And then you have the top part over here. Well, the top part over here basically has this washer that's kind of wavy. It's, it's more of like a compression washer. So when you tighten it up, it acts like a spring uh, to where you can still turn it. Everything's still a little bit stiff, but I'm going to put the spring on or the washer and then I'll put the nut on top of that. And the problem that I was having is you see how loose that is. Very, very loose. So somebody ended up putting a washer in there to basically get rid of that play. It's not supposed to be like that. So what I ended up doing is taking a, a micrometer and checking out the diameter of this as far as how thick it is and seeing if this was worn down on one side or not. And come to find out comparing the bolts that came, the screws that came with the, uh, the new one compared to the old one that came on the guitar, this bottom part here is worn out the where it seats at. And that's given me a little bit of extra play to where that's where those washers came in. So on the one that came in from Reverb, basically I got everything basically here and it's set up the way it's supposed to be. Um, that washer, you're supposed to be able to tighten that nut down and still be able to turn this kind of freely and there's no play in it. So that's the way it's supposed to be. And uh, got rid of those stupid washers that look like shit. So now what I'm going to do is basically start working on the neck of this guitar and getting this thing uh, basically back to tits again. And, uh, oh yeah, be looking for my uh, Amazon wish list. Remember, no begging. And coming back into view right now, seeing my cute tummy. <laughs> All right, he's gone. So I figured I would share my unreasonable wish list, considering that all the things that uh, I do on YouTube. So um, I really don't think these are, are too unreasonable as far as an Amazon wish list. So you guys take a good look at it right now. And I'm gonna leave this here on top of his desk before he gets back, so. I'm going to get the fuck out of here before he gets back. You guys take care and have a good one. Nice beaver. Thank you. I just had it stuffed. Let me help you with that. Hey everybody, what's going on? First thing I want to say is uh, hearts to Randy. Prayers are out to Randy and his family. I uh, hope Randy's doing okay. Saw a video of him sitting in the hospital which is never never good hopefully it's nothing really serious and uh he gets back on his feet again randy i need you to be out there because uh who else am i going to depend on for uh in case i get an acoustic guitar and i want to try to do a setup on it your videos are very very uh helpful when it comes to working on a lot of this stuff anyways uh back at it with this thing again i was actually down for a little bit myself had a um I guess like a stomach flu for one day it was pretty rough but uh so i'm getting back into things again and working on the ibanez s series so i got the back plate for the tremolo basically all set up and ready to be installed into the body the tremolo is cleaned up and everything's ready to go with that uh, the only thing I did do is I put a little bit of white grease underneath the posts over here because these are supposed to be not loose but not really tight either. So, so now I just need to do a polish on the frets. They've already been leveled and uh, get the polishing done. You guys have seen how I do that with the series of uh, sandpapers. So I'm not really going to force you to watch that. 
But I do want to say something, though. I really appreciate everybody who got involved in the Secret Santa thing. Uh, I kind of wanted to uh, see a little bit more people get out there, get a little, a little bit active in it. But, uh, you know, though it's been shipped out on Friday. The contest ended on Friday. And, uh, yeah, all it was was basically uh, send me an email with your address. And, you know, I would pick somebody out of all the emails and, uh, you know, they'd get a little bit of a surprise. The only thing that kind of sucked, though, was, is, you know, in order to be a secret Santa, you ha it has to be a secret. Uh, the other person I sent this to um, ended up having an app for UPS, and uh, I guess it showed up on their app that they had a package coming. So, so much for being a secret Santa. But, uh, you know, it was pretty fun. I've been going back and forth with the person a little bit here and there, and uh, uh, I'll let him let you know who he is uh, if he wants to. And, uh, yeah, so I'll get back into this. But I do, however, have a, since it's still, you know, still kind of close to Christmas, uh, maybe I'll have another secret Santa giveaway soon, um, or a New Year giveaway soon. So it'll be basically the same thing. I'll be taking uh, emails of addresses and, uh, you know, first name, last name, address, and so on of where you want it to ship to. And uh, I'll be doing the same thing. So there'll be a number two for the beginning of the year. Haven't done this in a long time as far as a giveaway goes, and I've been giving parts away and stuff. If people asked for them or needed some parts, I've been giving parts away, but, uh, you know, haven't done a whole guitar in a long time. So back to work on this thing. Again, I'm not going to trouble you or, or, or uh, basically bore you, so to say, as far as watching the leveling goes and the crowning and the friend everything else that's why I did it off camera so I am going to get back to work on this thing and uh, hope everyone has a happy and safe new year uh, Randy I hope you get better and uh, home soon and uh, yeah so you guys take care have a good one and you know bring in the new year with a bang but uh, not too much of a bang all right guys be safe